Now one little extra thing that I want to show you is the use of text parameters, but making those text parameters actually a part, a physical part of the model. So what I'm going to do is go to the 3D view. I'm, in, I'm back in the family environment again. And I'm actually going to add model text to this family. And model text can be found on the Home tab right here. And I'm going to type uh, a number. We'll just type number 1. And there is the model text right there. Now, the difference between model text and just regular text is that model text is actually three-dimensional and it's intended to be used for things like signage. But it can be used for other things as well. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to edit the work plane, and I'm going to pick a plane, and I'm going to the floor plan view, and I'm actually going to give this front reference plane a name, call it front. And go back to the 3D view. and pull this guy around. And we're going to edit the work plane for the text. We're going to say pick new host and host it on that surface. Now this happens quite often. It comes in backwards whenever and upside down uh, whenever you rehost it. So we're just going to use the rotate tool to rotate this thing around rotate 180 degrees and there is our text. We'll go to the front elevation view and I'm going to create another reference plane going this direction so that we can align this text on this surface and we'll just equalize that and then using the align tool I'm going to align the reference plane and it recognizes the center of that text, that model text, and we'll lock it. I'm going to do the same thing vertically. Uh, find the middle and then lock that. Now to edit this text, all I have to do is go in here and say something else, XXX, and let's remove the constraints. It, the reason why it wanted to remove the constraints is because I didn't set the justification. I need to set the horizontal justification to center, and then I can lock it to this tab, and it will stay in alignment when the length of the text changes. So we'll lock that. And now if I click on this, and I say edit text, and I'll just type something like that, and there it goes. It changes automatically. So we'll click on Edit Text. We'll set that back to number one. And there we go. Now there's a couple of other things that we need to do. If we go back to the 3D view, you can see that this text is sticking out really far. I'm actually going to reduce it down to just about the smallest it can go. We'll make it an eighth of an inch deep. Oops, it went an eighth of an in, or eighth of a foot. So it's 0.125 inches. And so that, that gets it down almost to being flat. And next thing we have to do is set its material parameters. So we'll go to edit type for the text. And actually, no, we're not going to do that. Click on the number, and we're going to change its material. So right here it says Material by Category. And we're going to change its material. It's just going to be a black text. Now I can also assign it a parameter, but in this case I just always want it to be black text. So I'm going to use the default, and we're going to duplicate the default. And I'm going to call this signage. And we'll go to the appearance, change this to black, the color to black, and then under graphics, this is just so that it, it shows in shading as black, and then surface pattern, it's solid fill, and then the color of that solid fill is going to be black as well. And so that will set the color 
of that text to always be black, no matter what.